Mountain Sanctuary. So today, if you check out our website, mountainsanctuary.org, we lay out some of our conservation plans and projects up here at the property. So this is a real simple one. Um, it's under habitat creation and enhancement. So we were cutting some firewood and I noticed that this log was hollow or close to hollow. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cap each end of this log, waller out this knot hole here as like an entrance. And then at that point, it's kind of like a self-contained, you know, little home for any type of creature. I could either just like leave it on the ground on, on a stream bank or maybe like a weasel or, you know, a small terrestrial creature, a snake or a lizard could possibly use it as kind of a holler as a hiding spot. Or um, I have the option of possibly screwing it onto a tree, mounting it to a tree, and then it could, it could be a, a hole in a hollow cavity for an aerial creature to use. Um, one thing I learned is, as landowners, the first trees we cut down are usually the dead trees, just because we think they're kind of an eyesore. But believe it or not, dead trees actually provide more habitat to wildlife than live trees. So something to keep in mind. And like I said, it's it's not much. It's a it's a small project. Um, but why not do it? And if something happens to live in it or use it for a season, then then I would be stoked on it. So let, let's get going on it. I got my saws all here. I can... Great, battery's dead. Bam! I don't have my steel toe boots on either. Last thing you want is to go home with nine toes. Okay? So be safe out there. Waller this out, kind of get some of the buildup out of here. Get it hollow completely. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna go for it. Bunch of soft rotten wood in the middle here. All right. I'm trying to decide. This this already has a hole in it, but this is kind. Of, this is a cool knot, maybe to drill out as an entrance. But uh, I can see Russia from here. All right, so I'm using this old dead branch to kind of make a plug for the for each end of this. So I gotta trim this up just a little bit. And I'll put it in here, plug this side, put a screw or two in each end. Just keep working on it here. As you can tell, this is very precise, very precise work and measuring. All right, kids, it ain't rocket science. It ain't rocket science. Got your plug here. You know, I'll get that to fit a little better, but basically you just plug this in and put a screw or two in there and then, you know, it's good enough for a weasel. All right, got my 
my cap in here on the end. It's hollow inside. I gotta put one on this end too, but just putting three screws in it. Got my redneck workbench here. Just in case we fail to recognize one another after all these years. There, man. All right, got a cap in one end, and now I'll get one on the other end. We'll go from there. Entrance. I'm gonna start wallering this knot hole out. All right, that's not really working that good. So, might have to get my sawzall. Waller that out a little more and I'll get all the sawdust out Just in case we fail to recognize one another after all these years. I don't know I'm tempted to maybe leave that like that cut it you know to match circular but then like if anything puts nesting material in it I could empty it out I mean I don't know I don't know what I'm doing up here <laughs> Something like that. Or maybe we'll make it just a little bit bigger. I'll cap the end. And it should be pretty well good to go. All right, so I know it's not pretty, but this is kind of the finished product I came up with. I guess I decided I'm gonna mount it to a tree. It's got a little bit of an overhang here. Maybe to keep a little moisture out. Natural knot hole here. I guess what I'm thinking with this too is uh, because it's made with natural habitat, maybe the animals will take to it quicker. Um, I'm thinking possibly a wren could nest in here. What I'd be really excited about is if a kestrel falcon happened to nest in here. But uh, I guess I am going to mount it to this tree over here. We'll put it in there and just kind of keep an eye on it. And you know, it doesn't look great. and and an animal may not ever live in it, you know, but can I say that I wasted my whole weekend making this thing? Yeah, I can. So we'll put this up there. And like I said, if, if one animal uses it and, you know, relaxes or, or has a home in it for a season, then I can sleep well at night. So I'm thinking up in this tree, it's right on the edge of this nice meadow. Kestrels eat a lot of grasshoppers, shrews. And so I'm thinking that'll be a good spot for them. We'll see, we'll see. Losing my britches. Again, I'm mounting this birdhouse in this tree right here. I just might do it there. Sink your neck. All right. Oh. 
we'll see what happens. I mean, I could probably mount it a little better, but I'm thirsty, I'm tired, I'm a little confused, a little, a little nervous about this video. But that being said, how dope is this shirt? Buy one! No, I'm just kidding. Mountain Sanctuary, it's a philosophy, it's a way of life. You know, if, I, if these videos can inspire other people to do mini conservation projects, stuff like this, then I can sleep well at night. I can sleep at night feeling like I've done something with my life. Turn it off, turn it off.